Welcome to Digital Refill, my name is Damien, and we're going to take a behind the scenes look at how I created the video for Film Riot's Sci-Fi Composite Challenge. So Ryan over at Film Riot posted a challenge that we had to take a shot or an image and composite a sci-fi vehicle into it. So recently I 3D modeled a car, specifically a Datsun 240Z, and I figured, you know what, this would be perfect for the challenge, because I could turn it into a sci-fi vehicle. And after brainstorming for a while, I decided, hey, I'll have this car in a garage, and then I'll run in, get in the car, thrusters will turn on, car will start hovering, and then the garage door opens, and then, whoo, goes away. Flies into space, something, which is, so it was really important for me to take measurements of the garage. This allowed me to put markers on the floor, so when I ran in, I knew exactly where I'm supposed to go to, to make it look like I'm opening the door and then getting into the car. So I used three LED panels to light the entire shot. Two of them off to the right side at a warmer color temperature, and then one LED panel on the left side with a blue color gel on it. Now for the footage, I made sure to get a clean plate, the action, and then the garage door opening. Now it was time to go into post-production and start doing the visual effects. In After Effects, I took those three shots and basically made one single sequence that I could use for the timing of the entire animation of the car. I took the 3D model of the car I had and started making modifications to it to turn it into a sci-fi futuristic hover car. Since this was a locked off shot, I decided to use FSpy to basically recreate a virtual camera that mimics our real world camera. Once I used FSpy to create that virtual camera, I imported it into Blender. Now going into the camera settings, I replaced that background image and imported the image sequence that I created from After Effects. Now I had the image sequence loaded in, I could use it to time the animation of the car. Now it was time to animate the car. Once I was happy with the animation, I started lighting the scene. I tried to replicate the LED panels that I used in the actual shot. Once I animated and lit the scene, I noticed that the car's material was a little too perfect. So I took it into Substance Painter and gave it some imperfections to give it a little more character, make it look like this car was actually used up quite a bit. I made a rough 3D model of the garage and took a single shot from our image sequence and projected that onto the geometry. Projecting this texture onto the geometry actually helps us with integrating the 3D object into our live action shot. As you can see from this shot, the light is actually bouncing off our texture and hitting our 3D object. This helps with making it seem like it's part of the shot. Then it was just making sure I had my render settings correct. This included getting all my render passes and enabling CryptoMath. This helps a lot when I'm compositing back in After Effects. In After Effects, it was time to composite everything together. Once my shot was completed, it was time to open up Premiere and start layering in some sound effects. For sound effects, I used a mix of free sound effects I found online and also some Foley that I created. Finally, the shot was complete. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video and thank you to Ryan over at Film Riot for creating this challenge. It was a great and fun learning experience and I'll see you guys in the next video.